Banks DIH has launched several new products on the local market. Narima Ali reports. Banks DIH, which is a multi-billion dollar company in Guyana, is a food and beverage industry that was founded in the 1840s. Today, the company continues to grow and receive many awards for their products that are highly demanded not only in Guyana, but internationally. The managing director, Mr. Clifford Reese, at the recent Burby's shareholders meeting, shared the company's accomplishments for its popular products. My fellow shareholders, I can report a deep sense of accomplishment that during the period of review, our Mines Beer GT Beer, our XM Rums, our Rainforest Water Products were awarded either Grand Gold and Gold Medals at the 2018 Monday Selection Quality Awards Competition. Our XM 12 Euro and 15 Euro Rums were awarded a Grand Gold Medal. Additionally, several new products were introduced to the supermarkets. Mr. Reese further said, the best cookies and the tea biscuits. Uh, these are two products which took some time to restore development by our new department, but I must say it has came up 100% as we expected it to be. It is really selling its quality products, so there's nothing better in our company than to give you samples so that you yourself can taste it. Sometimes you might go into the supermarket and what we've been told, they're putting it between the foreign products and not distinguish what is local content is part of us. So when you put it this, on this afternoon, you understand what the packaging is all about. And I want to bring same thing this new product we have called Wave. It's an ear. Some people believe it's ginger, not a ginger. It's an alcoholic product. It's a beer. If you look in the United States, you know, yesterday this year, but right? That we are today, but wiser in advertising in the World Cup Super Bowl. It's costing them 50 million US dollars for six minutes of advertisement. And what they're pushing now is the beer again called the Sears of Dunn. Why? There are a lot of craft breweries now in the United States. Craft beers is like what they're able to like. If you look at the wave, you can see my craft to perfection. It has a brownish looking color. It has 20% of alcohol. It's an alcohol. It's a brew. As the company continues to grow, the management realizes the importance of giving back to the community. As such, Mr. Reese disclosed this exciting opportunity. Your company have a fund, and the fund is set up by the late chairman to give scholarships. He has not sold the shares to let it to the company be managed by me as a trustee. And these funds are there to give young people a chance to get scholarships. A lot of banks and employees who are presently work with us are winners of this scholarship program. I think we have about 64 young people in banks who have bachelor's degrees and master's degrees and MBAs and all of them, long line of degrees. Some of us have gone to Western Ontario University for training. We want to give a scholarship again to our student. Four year scholarship for them to study in marketing. Now, our company is a technical company. We convert raw materials into finished products, and it's called for technology. And that is why, if you're doing the science subjects like engineering, especially electronics engineering, you're a candidate for scholarship. But you want to emphasize in the Burbis area a student or two students who are considering to do marketing. Bank say it's limited if you meet all the requirements and give you that scholarship to go on for your education. Apart from the four year scholarships, checks were also presented to two schools in Burbis, the Winifred Gaskin Secondary School in East Burbis, and the number five primary school in West Burbis. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.